Congress. Welcome again. Good morning to all. Myself, Nasim Khayyum. I'm an assistant professor at the Department of Engineering Sciences at AISSMS Institute of Information Technology. So today we are going to discuss about ranking cycle. So before going to into the topic, uh, we need to discuss about types of power plant. So first one is a steam power plant. So in that we see here uh, we are having a four major parts here. One is boiler, the turbine, and a generator and a condenser, and obviously a cooling tower. So basically in a any power plant. We will be having uh, the four major parts: boiler, turbine, generator, and a condenser. So, while coming to its principal operation, so in boiler, if you add heat, then so basically, what is steam power plant means? Uh, steam is uh, working. Uh, steam is operating as a working fluid in the entire cycle. So, in the boiler, if we give heat as an input, then the water will get over into steam and that steam will hit the turbine blades and then the turbine will in turn connect it to generator. Hence, uh, we can get uh, electric output. And the, if remaining steam, if, if any is there in the turbine, will be taken to condenser with the help of the cooling tower here, uh, the, uh, the steam is converted into water and again it will send back to boiler. So this is the basic principle of the steam power plant. So, and again, if you come to gas power plant, gas turbine power plant, basically in general, we will be having open and closed. There are two types of gas turbine power plants, open gas turbine power plant, closed, closed uh, turbine power plant. So this is the open uh, gas turbine power plant. Here we are having a compressor and a combustion chamber, CC and a turbine and a generator, obviously. So when the atmospheric air will enter into the compressor, it will compress to a very high temperature and pressure. And the hurry, very high, high temperature and pressure, it will enter into the combustion chamber. And if we inject the fuel, then uh, here expansion takes place. And the turbine, obviously, here expansion takes place and it will convert it to a generator. And the exhaust is uh, sent to the atmosphere. This is a gas open uh, gas turbine. Power plant and one more uh, is a nuclear power plant. Here we are having a, a big reactor and a turbine alternator and a condenser. So these are the common parts here for, uh, for uh, any power plant. So this is in nuclear power plant, we will generally use uh, uranium or thorium as a fuel, where it, this nuclear power plant will operate on the principle of nuclear fission reaction, where the uh, uranium or thorium atoms will split into two or more individual atoms, and where it will uh, eject, uh, it will release a huge amount of energy. Thus, it can uh, emit a steam as the output, and that steam will in turn run the turbine. This is the basic principle. And uh, final one, obviously, solar power plant. This is a uh, self-explanatory uh, solar panels, and then it will connect to a grid, which can be used for the home appliances. So now, so the basic principle of the steam power plant and aim. So what is our basic principle? So we need electricity, obviously. And how we will produce electricity with the help of a generator. And again, here a question will rise. How generator will work with the help of a turbine? And again, how turbine will rotate with the help of the boiler? How means if a boiler, the steam, if the steam uh, uh, hits the turbine blades, then it will uh, rotate the turbine blades, which will in turn connect it to the generator, and generator will generate its electricity. So this is the basic basic phenomena or basic principle and the aim. So now we are if we come into Rankine cycle, so this is the schematic view of the Rankine cycle, where uh, it is a boiler, and a turbine, and a condenser, and pump. If you see if, uh, here, we give numbering. One to two, we will be having a pump, and a two to three boiler, and a condenser and pump. And here, if you see, 
and uh, as I told you in boiler, we are giving heat as input. That's why we, it denoted it as Q in. And uh, in turbine, uh, we are getting uh, expansion here. So that's why we gave W out. And here we are getting heat rejection in condenser. That's why we have noted data this as Q out. And uh, for pumping uh, the water into the boiler, we required one pump. So here we are giving work input. That's why we denoted it as W in. So as I told, heat is added into the boiler. And again, uh, expansion takes place at the turbine and the heat is rejected at the condenser. And uh, this rejection, heat rejection occurs with the help of a cooling tower. Uh, and then isentropic expansion water uh, with the help of pump, we will pump the water into the boiler. This is the basic principle. So one, two, three, four. So this is the uh, PV and TS plots of the Rankine cycle. So thermodynamically, we should uh, know about the working principle of Rankine cycle. So one to two, we will be having isentropic compression. Uh, two to three, uh, constant pressure heat addition. And three to four is a uh, isentropic expansion. And four to one, we will be having constant pressure heat rejection. So here, uh, if you see one to two, uh, so this is the uh, minor chart. This uh, dome curve represents the saturated line. So these lines are constant pressure lines. So one to two, they are uh, pumping the water. So it is isothermal, uh, isentropic compression, W in. And again, two to three, constant pressure heat addition. So in the boiler, we are adding the heat at constant pressure. So two to three, these are the constant pressure lines. So Q in, that's why we denoted it as Q in. And three to four, isentropic expansion. So that uh, that steam will enter into turbine. That's why uh, three to four, we are expanding it down. And uh, we denoted it as W turbine. And four to one, heat rejection at constant pressure. Q out. This is a TS and PV diagram. And again, analysis of Rankine cycle. So for the process one to two, uh, it is uh, since it is isentropic compression, or it is it can also be called as reversible adiabatic. Work done by pump can be denoted as H1 minus H2, where H1 and H2 are the enthalpies at point one and point two, which can be obtained from the Mollar chart. From for process two to three, constant pressure heat addition. So this can be uh, this can be denoted as Q in that is equal to H3 minus H2. H3 minus H2. And again, for the process 3 to 4, isentropic expansion in turbine. H3 minus H4. Again, for the process 4 to 1, constant pressure heat transaction at condenser, which can be denoted as Q out, which, which is nothing but H4 minus H1. And uh, if you want, uh, here we need to define the efficiency of the ranking cycle. For any uh, system, generally efficiency can be denoted as output by input. So here, uh, what is output? Here we are getting work as the output, this one. Work output of the turbine. And uh, input means we are giving heat as the input. That's why I don't it, it as Q. And again, we are work, work where, where we are getting work, uh, we are getting a turbine and we are supplying uh, work at pump. That's why WT minus W pump. And again, Q, where we are supplying Q? Q supply minus Q rejection. We are supplying heat at the boiler and we are taking heat at the condenser at this part. And again, gen in general, uh, uh, we will neglect the pump work and we will neglect the condenser uh, heat rejection. That's why it can be denoted as work uh, output at the turbine divided by Q heat supplied at the boiler. This is the final expression, which can be obtained as H3 minus H3. Turbine means 3 minus 4, and uh, Q supply at the boiler means 3 minus 2. So this is the uh, efficiency of the ranking cycle. We can uh, get. In the next slides, we will discuss about its uh, uh, performance analysis to uh, improve the 
ranking cycle. So there are generally basically uh, some technologies are there to improve the efficiency. We discuss that in our next slide.